Hello from Chunkanob, the Adventure Beach Park. This place is really, really cool. Um, it's the best. The best way to find it really uh, is DolphinDiscovery.com uh, for prices, for activities, for everything. That is the place to go to check it out. It is an all-inclusive park. That is basically if you get the uh, full package for it. So you come in, uh, you park over there, come in through the turnstiles. And there's, there's paths and all sorts of things through here. And they've got iguanas, they've got parrots. I don't see any of the iguanas. I saw one earlier. But uh, yeah, just know they, they have, they do have iguanas. They've got vendors here, so you can get you can get glasses. You can get your your uh, typical like uh, you know Mexican uh, wear of of sorts. There's a photography team here. They'll take your picture for anything that you're doing, really. And they do cost extra for that. They do have a sea lion show that is included. It is free. Different times, you know, today is 10.30, 10.30, 12.30, 30, and 2.30. They've got uh, tropical gardens, uh, tequila experience, the showers, the lagoon, inlet swimming area, and snuba sea trek. So right back in there are the sea lions. And over here is the Casa Maya Mayan hut. So, what they did here is they did a little replica of some of the Mayan ruins to give you an idea of what they looked like back in the day. From what our guide said earlier, uh, shock mool here back in the day when they used to do human sacrifices they'd uh, basically disembowel you remove your heart and there is a bowl right there that they would put your heart in nasty i guess here they do like uh you'd sit there and and get taught about uh mesoamerica they've got all the different statues They've got a Stella up here. Again, it's, it's, I don't believe that uh, any of these are real. They might just all be replicas. But yeah, you can walk all through here and see a little bit of history. And they do have little signs down here telling you what everything is. Some of these are actually really cool. There's a hut back in there, a temple. I don't believe this is to scale, being that, uh, you know, that's. I would say that's a little over two and a half feet tall. This is like a uh, a reserve, so everything is pretty much like safe from uh, like outside people doing anything stupid, which is always good. Um, I think that guy is like sacrificing himself. Like, there, he's, he's driving a dagger into him. There's nothing on the backside. Crazy. There's a sign for a waterfall, and I can hear a waterfall. Let's go see the waterfall. There it is.
Yeah, it's just beautiful. And that is just creepy. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, I don't know if you could see him. There were a couple lizards that just scurried off through there. Good size ones too. Wow. Another Estella. So this is a great little nature walk. And up here it looks like there's a Mayan calendar. And I don't know if any of you remember, but uh, everyone thought that we were all supposed to be dead because the Mayan calendar ended and everyone figured, well, the Mayans knew what was up and uh, they made their calendar end on this date and I forgot what date it was exactly, but everyone thought that that was it. That's the day it ends. So, <clears throat> we are, we're back in here. So we're, we're right here. So, we basically started off, started off here, walked around. That's where we were looking for the iguana, there wasn't one. Um, walked around here. There, cross there, we're here, now we're just gonna walk back. There is a, uh, like I said, a tequila factory. They can show you how tequila is made. From what I understand, you can have all you can drink tequila, I believe. I'm not 100% positive on that. They've got iguanas here, a little flower garden. Zip lines, very cool. They've got the sea lion show. Pool, bar, cabanas over here. And we're gonna we're gonna walk over here too. But uh, they have a pool and a pool bar. You can actually swim right up to the bar. They've got a, uh, a restaurant, a buffet right over here, and uh, locker, dressing room, shower over here. <clears throat> here you can actually swim with the dolphins. Very fun. It's about a half an hour long. Um, Cost-wise, we did ours through the ship, so I'm not too sure cost-wise how much it would be. Um, but you can also swim with manatees. Very cool. If you've never swum with manatees, those things are amazing. Kayaking, snuba, um, like inflatable tool areas. You can snorkel. You do need to provide your own snorkels or you can rent them. Uh, same with scuba. So that option is there for you, but they have a good size beach. I mean, it covers a, a great, great amount of area. But again, cost wise, I'm not too sure. It looks like they have gators too, but uh, it's, a, it's a good size area, a lot to do. And the amount of things that I've done so far um, has, been, has been fun. So dolphin time, you get, like I said, about a half an hour. You get to uh, pet them, touch them, kiss them, um, make them uh, do different tricks. They will interact with you quite a bit. Um, and yeah, yeah. They do have a buffet here, uh, like I had mentioned, between you and me and these trees. The food was not, yeah, their chimichangas are good. Potato salad and coleslaw is decent, but uh, their nacho cheese for their nachos, between you and me, it was more like yellow water. The drinks are, um, are all you can drink. Whether you want soda, juice, or alcohol, it is all you can drink. So if you're one to test your limits on what you can handle, this is a place to go because 
drink to your heart's content. Me, Diet Coke. So, don't know where the zip lines are. It might just be back further over there. The water is warm. Beaches are beautiful. The people, extremely friendly. Like I said, it's, it's just beautiful out here. We got swinging hammocks here, as you can see. It's another area to dine. I don't see any food over there though, so it may not be open right now, but they'll definitely get your drinks. Apparently there are animals in the water, whatever that translates to. I don't know what kind of animals they are. There's some snorkelers. And uh, one thing to take in also, they do have free Wi-Fi, which that right there in many ways, makes it worth it to come over. And get a massage. <laughs> so that is where they have the uh, swimming area. Doesn't look like they have inflatables after all. It looks like it's more uh, just platforms that you can swim out to and jump off of. They've got a snack bar over here. More hammocks. Bathrooms. Uh, men's bathrooms, not too bad from what I understand. Women's restrooms. Are, uh, mildly sketchy. We'll just try and put that nicely. El Bucanero. <laughs> We're good, thank you. Every kind of tequila you want, they got. And here's for uh, scuba divers. And snorkeling. Hello. And they have El Gato. Hello. Yeah? Good times. So yeah, they've got a whole bunch of snorkel and, and uh, hello. So place after place after place are all right here. Now everything is in uh, Mexican pesos, just so you know. Like you can also rent boogie boards. I don't know what you would use a boogie board for, but uh, you know, I guess just to float on. You can walk right down to the water, just right here. I don't know how far out you'd necessarily want to go from from this point. Um, Maybe snorkeling, be great for. I mean, you can see the different uh, floaty balls out there, making sure that you are safe when you are out snorkeling, so that way you don't have any uh, boats hit you. So uh, safety first. We got some uh, hanging swings over there so you can sit down. Another bar, some cabanas. This is all private area. You actually have to pay extra for the the uh, cabanas. The beach is rough. Very rocky along here. If I'm thinking over here is a better better place to uh, to go in. They do have all the different huts that you can sit underneath to keep you out of the sun. 
and being that everything is in uh, in the peso I can't give you any prices I was told that the prices change based off of uh, time of year season um, whether they're busy or not busy it just all fluctuates so that's why I had given you right off the bat if you're interested definitely definitely check out dolphindiscovery.com definitely getting my my steps in today hence the breathing heavy like walking on sand sometimes is hard must be a really quiet day here today I mean you can imagine they can handle quite a bit there's only one ship in town today and that's the Disney Fantasy but it is right down the street you can grab a taxi and they'll take you here or if uh, you do it through your cruise ship they will uh, take you down here as part of the pricing so so it looks like it is not Cozumel it's Cosmo nice I'm missing a you that's why you need to be here so they have a you sorry it's a really bad joke It's hot today. It's like 86 degrees, which I know for some that's not really hot, but it's hot and humid, which adds a little bit more to it. So they do have lockers here. It's like right up ahead is little kids play area they've got some uh, little shop here and then right straight in front of me right there like I said that is the tequila museum where they will uh, show you how it's all made they will make you one by hand uh, that does cost a little bit extra how much I'm not sure They've got this uh, topless woman draining her water and she has uh, two snakes on her head. I don't know why she's topless. She might want to invest in a top. Just saying. They do henna tattoos. Down there you can kind of see a little bit of the skull uh, souvenirs that they sell. Hello! No, thank you. I'm good. All right, so earlier we turned that way. Now we're turning back underneath the sign. We're going to go in to where you can actually see the dolphins. Now, if you don't necessarily want to swim with the dolphins, you can stand off to the side and watch them jump and swim and play and squeal. And for some people, that's a lot. That's a that's kind of a big deal. I mean, especially if you've never ever seen the dolphin, that's pretty cool. If you have, that might be enough too. So here is the uh, the buffet. Like I said, the uh, the nachos kind of sad. The tacos not not bad. The, that whole wall right there of alcohol is yours for the drinking if you're a drinker.
So the dolphins hang out right in here. And then they have four sections over here that uh, you will actually go into the water to swim with them. And over here, same things. This one over here is for the manatees. In fact, there's, I want to say something right over there that keeps coming up. I think it's, yeah, those are, those are the dolphins. I mean, for kids, that's probably fantastic. They're gonna, they're gonna love it. It's, it's really nice. I mean, like I said, there's the, the pool with the uh, swim up bar. They've got, uh, like I say, a photographer that follows you around. They'll take all your pictures, and at the end, they've got a computer in here that you can go through and pick what souvenirs you like or don't like uh, to purchase. They have regular souvenirs, you know, um, you know, stuff that is um, manufactured in a in a factory, and then they have stuff that is more handmade, just right down here. So, with that being said. There are the dolphins jumping up over there. They're so excited. In fact, they say here they actually have the most loved dolphins here. So I can actually believe that. I, I saw how, how happy they were uh, when we were interacting with them. Um, but that is the full tour of everything that Dolphin Discovery has. I definitely recommend it next time you're out here. It is it is fun for the entire family. Everyone would love it. I mean, whether you're a dolphin fan, manatee fan, or just scuba or snorkeling, there is so much to do here. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Make sure to give me a thumb up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share. Because sharing's caring. We'll see you later. Bye.